Hello, and welcome back to more Let's Play Wario World. I'm the Max of Few Trades, and in the last part, we defeated, uh, Mirror Mansion. Yes. And in this part, we're going to be taking on the final true level of Wario World. Here we go. The one and only Pecan Sands. And boy, did they save an annoying level for last. Well, that's not really too fair on it. I mean... It's an okay, it's a good level. I mean, the walking around areas, those are easy enough, but the pu a couple of the puzzles in this particular world, I'm not looking forward to, let's leave it at that. Also, apparently mummies with giant clubs, because why not? Anyway, first things first. Jump up here, punch this button. Avoid all these... Okay, this is probably one of the laziest versions. Okay, all of the enemies here are basically enemies we've already fought in. I mean, all of them are basically the exact same enemies in every single world. True! But these are the exact same enemies, except wrapped up in bandages to look like mummies. The only creative enemy here is the scorpions that are hidden underneath the sand that you need a ground pound to get. Everything else? Kinda lame. But, you know, like I said, one of the only two real blemishes on this otherwise pretty dang good game. Anyway, we found ourselves a new jewel monster of which to fight, because, you know, why not? Anyway. Alright. Now, I discovered that if you can time uh, the way you use these right, you can actually um, hit the jewel monster twice with one wild swing ding. But I was unable to present it there. I apologize. Anyway. So look, it's the wolves from Beanstalk Way, except mummies. But, like, I, that's really weird. I don't know why they would do that. I mean, did they really need to retexture uh, re all of the old enemies? Couldn't they have just, I don't know, made generic mummy enemies? I mean, at, at, in one sense it's lazy, but in the other sense it's not as lazy as this. But whatever. Still good. I still like this game. Even if it does have an overabundance of weird jewel monsters that have force fields for some reason. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna fight jewel monsters, that's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Ah, get out of the kitchen, fool. Ah, jump down here. And I uh, get stuck in the sand. No, we need to do the puzzle. What is the puzzle here? The puzzle here is punching this thing. And there you go, puzzle solved. Simple as that. All right, what's this guy got to say? The stone cold statue in front of the ladder is made up of three blocks that contain its eyes, nose, and mouth, and a weak spot. To destroy it, strike its weak spot. Well, no, duh. Apparently, uh, the game has just now decided to tell us in the final level that striking an enemy, enemy in the weak spot is a good way to kill it. Way to go, game. Seriously, those sprightlings are never helpful. Oh, also, you remember those bizarre magnet enemies from Beanstalk Way? Well, they're back. Except now they're flying shovels. I don't get it either. They can still shoot out their electric, electric uh, pulses, but, you know. Except now they're shovels, because shovels can do that, you know. Doesn't your shovel shoot out electric uh, energy at your enemies? Mine does. They also have a rake that doubles as a flamethrower. The big scorpers are so annoying when they burrow into the sound. I hate those things. Use a ground pound to move them out. Yeah, thanks for that. Okay. And anyway, you do have to jump off the ledge there. There's no way to get back up once you jump down there. All you gotta do in this particular area is punch every switch once. Get on the stone slab, punch that one, and you're lifted up to the crystal. And we're out. Hit the switch, jump on down, punch this chest, grab the treasure, cut to the ledge up above. Ta-da! Alright. Now for more glue globes. A never ending supply of them. Even though we killed the dragon that seems to spit these things out, they're still all over the place for some reason. Anyway, wait. What am I doing down here? Why did I do that? That was silly. Try not to go into the rhino, the unicorn, that guy. I hate that guy. Anyway, jump on the mummy's head. Get a little boost. Grab this statue piece. 
Grab the statue piece. And hey, look! It's the boss from the second level, except now he's just a normal enemy. Weird. I kind of feel bad for the guy. We apparently beat him up so bad he got demoted. How often do you see that in a game? You beat a boss so badly that you see them again as a standard enemy. All right. Really, actually? Honestly? There's no point in fighting this guy. All you get is a little bit of money. I'm not going to waste my time with him. What I am going to waste my time doing is trying to figure out how the hell to do this puzzle. In fact, I might just forget it. For the only time in this game, I just might say forget it altogether. Grab the statue piece, because we're going to need that. But basically what you need to do is smack around these blocks until you can, like, make a platform that'll get you over to that crystal. But for the life of me, I can't figure it out. I mean, I... I've done all I th could possibly think of, and I don't want to look it up online. I'm just cheating. But there's really nothing I can do. And the way I figure it, all we're doing is losing a crystal. And we don't even need to collect those. There's no benefit to that other than opening up the exit to the game, which we don't need anyway. So, at least I showed it, and I told you how to do it. I just can't figure it out myself. Please forgive me. I am not proud of this moment. But it's something we're all just going to have to live on with. Moving on. Punch this weird, uh, chicken thing. And it'll fling you up into the air. And I almost fell into the unicorn's lair, but then I didn't. So, ha, ha. What's it over here? Ah, this one. Ground pound. Get off before it crushes you. And voila. Grab the crystal. All as well. Also sprightly. It goes without saying that the laser used by the laser jigglefish is dangerous. Try circling it and then dropping from above. So basically, ground pound. I like how two of these sprightlings' advice for this level are both ground pound your enemies to kill them. They are so helpful and so worth saving. Actually, they are! No, I'm not gonna show that. You've seen one unicorn lair, you've seen them all. Punch the button, run over here. Stomp the second button, grab the stone Wario head, and waddle on over here. Where we meet, what I find, next to the uh, puzzle that I can't figure out in the slightest. This is the hardest puzzle, it's because it's not even a puzzle. The hardest part in this level, in my opinion. There. Now I'm done tripping over my words. Let us continue. The goal is to just not fall off, that's all you gotta do. Each platform gets faster and faster and more and more difficult to stay on. Do not feel bad if you fail thousands of times. I have. And I expect to fail a ton this time too. All right. I'm trying to concentrate, but at the same time, I'm trying to keep up a lively commentary. These are hard things to do at the exact same time. Oh, right, I forgot about that thing, yeah. It also slides, that the very last one likes to slide away from the level. Because, you know, apparently it wasn't hard enough. Whatever. Hurry along now. Jump onto the ledge. Avoid spike ball. Jump. Okay. This is the final one, but it moves the most. And you have to wait. Put the spike ball out of my face. Yep. Uh, wait, is it good? Huh! Well. Okay then. That's weird. Uh, I'll take it. I'm good with this. In fact, I'd like this to happen all the time. Okay, well, whatever then. What's this thing? Thank you. And give me treasure. Apparently, uh, actually it's, I mean, look at this thing, a small pyramid. Kinda lucky that that ended up in the, uh, desert-themed level, isn't it? Ain't that a co-inky dink. Okay, up, hip, there we go. Smooth moves, Wario. See what I did there? Anyway, punch this, uh, freaky, I don't know, robot thingy. I don't remember what they're called. I think they call them just stone cold things. I don't know. 
You don't look like professional wrestlers to me. And only it has a skeleton for some reason, and that's kind of horrifying when you think about it too much. But it gives you an ungodly amount of money, so thank you, Wendy. Anyway, more treasure, please. Thank you very much. And uh, no, no, you're not losing that. And guess what time it is? It's battle ring time! Watch out for werewolf mummies. Because werewolves and mummies weren't threatening enough on their own. No, we needed to create an unholy hybrid of the two at the same time. Ow. I've been tackled by some kind of mummy dog thing. I don't even know what this is. What is this a mummified version of? It's creepy. I don't care for it. And now it's dead. Oh, scorpion time. And I got hit, apparently. Okay, whatever. Get out of my face! Ow! Great, now the scorpion went back down. I hate you werewolf mummies! You're all jerks! The sound fun like go to the zoo to meet the werewolf mummies. No, it turns out they're just jerks. I'm gonna stick you with the bill. Thank you. Then jellyfish! Laser jellyfish! Because why not? That's why. Get out of here! Okay, now give me money. Now eat the money. Little known fact, that's why Wario likes money so much. It is delicious. Okay. And I do believe there is a Spriteling up here. What did I do here? I hear the Spriteling. That's over here. Okay. The Iron Sider at the Gold Head spins around with spewing flames. When the flames close in, look for some sand. Use the ground pound to go underground. That actually is pretty decent advice. However, if you're quick-footed enough, you don't need to do that. As I will hopefully be able to demonstrate, but knowing my luck, I will probably fail tremendously and everyone will laugh at me, but whatever, as long as you're having a good time, I have succeeded. What is over here? There is this thing. Thank you. Also, a uh, thing over there. Okay. Um, I completely missed this one. Good thing I saw it over here. I guess I'll just grab a scorpion. You know it's a good game when you when the only course of action is to pile drive a, a scorpion through a secret door. Whoa. I almost didn't fall through that thing. Ah, this one. This will truly test your platforming skills. Not really, I mean, if you're really bad at platforming like I am, then it's a true test. I don't know, for anyone else it's probably really easy. Okay. Try to avoid that. Say you. Give me the money. And grab me the crystal. Good. Also, I don't get this part. These blocks are just spinning around, but that doesn't really make it any harder to get on top of them. It's, I don't know. Is this supposed to be challenging? Because it's just weird. Whatever. Whoa! Okay. That was close. Marshmallow Bridge. S'mores no more. And I fell off. Marshmallow Bridge 2. This time, it's delicious. Thank you! Only on my second try. Well, not, not technically the second try. That was actually the fifth try. But you get what I mean. Anyway. Climb this ladder. Let's get out of here. More mummies. Why so many mummies? Right, don't accidentally fall down there or you'll fall back to the... Uh, beginning of the level, and you'll have to walk all the way back up here, which really isn't too bad, but still, I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, what you want to do is get on that marshmallow bridge right there, dash, and then run, and hopefully hit the switch on the other side before the marshmallow disappears. Easier said than done. Although I got it on my second try, so what do I know? All right. Don't rush things, or else you'll get a face full of spiky ball. And no one wants that! Also, if you rush, you'll get crushed by boxes! That's no good. Thank you! Now give me the crystal! Thank you! Okay. Let us get out of here! Very good! Things are going quite well, all things considered! Now to climb this thing. Sure it was convenient of the ancient Egyptian pharaohs that once lived here to uh, put this here in case a uh, 
very obese man wished to uh, climb all, you know, climb all over it and grab treasure and the like. Very considerate of them. Actually, that doesn't even make sense because the Black Jewel created this entire area out of Wario's treasure. So, uh, I don't know why that was there. Apparently, the Black Jewel wants us to find it and then kill it and get all our stuff back. He's a pretty stupid jewel, apparently. Anyway, I do believe there's something over here. There is something over here. We are gonna need the help of a laser jellyfish. And I know it's a jigglefish, but I don't want to call it that, because that's really gross sounding. In fact, looking at this thing's underside is pretty disturbing, too. Going through! Alright, what's the puzzle here? Oh god, no, not this place! Oh boy. Okay. This isn't really so much difficult as it is really, really easy to get lost. Um. I'll try to get through this as fast as I can, but uh, no promises. Okay. There's a Spriteling and a Crystal hidden somewhere around here. I'll try to get them both. Oh! Um, okay. That was weird. Just dash jump over that. Very good. How did that not hit me? Whatever, I'm not complaining. Uh, and it would really stick to fall here. Okay. Um, how do I... Oh, okay. Is there something up here? There's nothing up there. Okay, then I guess we'll jump over here. And apparently this section of ground is uh, shaped like a question mark for some reason. Well, I am confused, so I suppose that is appropriate. Let's walk over here. Uh, hmm. Okay, maybe I can... No, okay. Well, that was completely embarrassing. Okay, you'll have to forgive me for not actually showing you me showing you uh, me getting here. This was a very embarrassing ordeal to be certain. Okay. Basically, you see that giant area over there that I failed to corkscrew conk jump over there? Yeah, well you want to get over there, climb to the very top. Continue going that direction, jump over there. Go straight ahead. Go on top of that little edge there, jump over there, it'll bring you to a small area right there where you see that rising platform going up and down there. Good, jump on that, go over there, and it's just a hop, skip, and a jump on over there, up onto that ledge, jump down here, and you get your final Spriteling. Thank you, and we're done here. This is the last Spriteling, I'm the last Spriteling prisoner. There are 40 of us all together, you know. How many did you save? I saved every last one to my eternal horror. Anyway, jump down here. Grab this. Commit suicide. Use the spring. Leave. And let us finally bring an end to this torture. Again, I apologize, but I spent 45 minutes in there. That was just insulting to my intelligence. Okay. Anyway. Time for shovels. I hate this part so much because... Every time you throw a shovel, the, uh, there's, always, there's always one that's in the way. Unless, see, like that. You pushed me off. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? And okay, my point no longer uh, stands to reason. Trust me, when you play this game and you're on that part, it's annoying. It may not have looked like it, but that will take you a while. It decided to not be a jerk this time to make me look like a fool. Anyway. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, hang on. I think I know where this button is. May not even need to cut. Let's see. Jellyfish. I said avoid the jellyfish people. I don't care for them one bit. There it is. Okay. Back to the treasure. Alright, finally made it back up here. Okay, the shovels did take me a while that time. Anyway, found our GameCube. You don't get much more meta than that. Put in these crystals. In this level. Oh wait, first I gotta fight this stupid thing. Die. I don't... No, don't hide your weak points. Come on. Come on. Die. There, okay. One part dead. Stop shifting around, you jerk. 
don't need any of this right now. Give me your money. Come on. Come on. There. Yeesh. Okay. Put the crystals to the jewel statue. Do I have everything? One last check. Yes, I have everything. Let us fight this cockamamie device enemy thing now. Bad commentary, I apologize! All things considered, this enemy really isn't all that difficult. I mean, it'll cause shockwaves and stuff. I fell, apparently, okay. That's weird. It will cause shockwaves. You gotta avoid those, but that's really not so bad. All you gotta do... Really, your worst enemy is gonna be the camera. You need to grab these giant stone, stat stone hands and throw them at that guy. But the camera will shift immediately as soon as you're next to this thing and throw off your aim. So, watch out. But other than that, honestly, this is probably one of the quicker enemies to defeat in the game. Well, the quicker bosses, anyway. There's that flamethrower again. Whoa, 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 watch out, man. Okay. Okay, thanks. This was almost over, but then you had to be a jerk. I demand that you stop being such a butt. Now die! Thank you! Pecan Sons is gone. Well, that level was a royal disaster, if there ever once was one. I apologize immensely for my ineptitude and further ineptitude. Anyway, I just fell. Joyous occasion. Unfortunately, for everyone involved, there is one last thing we need to do in this video, and that is fight the final boss. Let's do this. Okay, not the final boss, but the second to final boss. You know what I mean. Okay, let's watch. And there he is, Captain Skull. Don't fall into the water, you'll lose half a heart. Just like I did, like I said, ineptitude. I am its incarnate. Anyway, what I gotta do? Beat the stuffing out of him. Pile drive him. Rinse. Lather. Repeat. Or something. I don't remember how you that go. I fell in the water again. Get out of here. Jerk. Okay. Now the file driver for you, Captain. Captain Skull. That's a real creative name, by the way, Captain Skull. Take all of you. Well, how long did it take you to come up with that, by the way? Yeah. Don't do that. Tally ho! Oh. Get back here, you pansy! I mean, I know how to swim, but at least I don't run away. Wario apparently doesn't know how to swim, I do. Just in case you're curious. Alright, now this fight gets more annoying. You see... Now he, uh, you can't just run over there and hurt him anymore. Now you have to wait for him to shoot cannonballs out, and then you need to throw them at him. And then you can finally go over there and hit him. However, you gotta deal with these creepy face bump things he's doing. Okay. All I gotta do is grab hold. Aim. And if the gods are shining upon me! Okay. Very, very quickly. Come on, Wario! Go, Wario! Okay. One more hit, and we're done. 
I can totally do this. Watch out for his face bombs. I don't even know what those are. But it's weird. Everything in this game is weird. It's so confusing. Okay, more of these things. I'm good with this. Now. Got him! Let's end this. You lame pirate wannabe loser thing. I don't even know. Are you a robot or something? I don't know, but you're dead. That's all that matters to me. And the pirate that can't swim. Irony! Every piece of treasure, every Spriteling, every piece of the Golden Wario statues, we have collected it all. <sighs> Feels good to finally get through all that. Okay. One final time, I would like to apologize for my complete ineptitude. What are you gonna do? Sometimes these things happen. Anyway. Hopefully, you will all join me next time for the finale of Wario World. In the next part, we're gonna go over there, we're gonna meet up with that black diamond, and we are going to smash him into a fine powder for all the hell he has put us through. I'll see you guys next time.